I moved to New York City in 2006 with absolutely no intention of getting into real estate. I actually came here to, to be an actor originally and it didn't really work out. I really didn't want to sit behind a desk the rest of my life and I had a friend who I knew in college who kept telling me, listen, real estate is where you want to be. It's New York City, real estate is king, but come try it. There's this company called Nest Seekers. They started right after September 11th. They're the most innovative new firm. They embrace every new type of technology. No other company can keep up with them. They're the fastest growing real estate firm. It's like, okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. This is where I should be if this is what I want to do. I went in on September 15th, 2008, the day that Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. Met Eddie Shapiro and I've been there ever since. At NetSeekers, there's an environment that breeds entrepreneurship, that breeds creativity, that breeds out of the box thinking. And if you look at you know, my successes and the way that I've decided to market the properties that I've had, I would never have been able to do that at any other firm. And when Million Dollar Listing came around, it was not my idea to go and meet with the, the casting directors, it was Eddie Shapiro. And he was the one who, you know, he had to fight with me. He was like, listen, this is perfect for you, you need to do this. Most CEOs don't work with the individual agents. They run the company and then they have office managers working with the agents. You know, my dad told me that no matter what I did, if it was acting or now that I was getting into real estate, you know, you, you might not be the smartest person, you might not be the best looking, whatever it is, but you can work the hardest. So if you get there early and you leave late, the boss will take notice and that's exactly what happened. And he took me under his wing and you know, not only did he teach me how to sell you know, and how to work with clients, but how to build a business for yourself, which, and there's no other firm in the United States that I'm aware of that goes about working with their agents in the same way. Real estate firms in New York City have a lot of competition. If you want to be in real estate and make the most money possible, you, know, you have the biggest brokers in the world that are based in New York because you're selling not only apartments, but you're selling entire buildings. You're selling these vertical neighborhoods to the wealthiest people in the world because everybody wants a piece of New York. So uh, you have to be innovative and you have to be advanced and you have to be 10 steps ahead of the competition. And that's what Nest Seekers has always been able to do. The real estate brokerage business is all about supplying the agents with the tools they need for success. And for me, I had an interesting opportunity when uh, World of Wonder, the production company behind Million Dollar Listing said, we've looked at 6,000 real estate agents in Manhattan. We're picking three, you're one of them. Do you want to do this? And so I went to Eddie and said, hey, this thing you wanted me to go out for, well, it worked. Now what do I do? I've got to, I got to like live this life. I got to do all this. And he said, don't worry, say yes. We'll take care of it. Everything's going to work out. And that's what we did.